What is up, guys? Bolt98, and in this video, we're gonna be talking about Modern Warfare 3 Zombies again. Realm base coming back, Easter eggs are gone, and will they even have a camo grind? Let's get straight into this video. I'll see you there. So I know you guys love when we talk zombies on the channel, so I decided to bring it back to the channel here with Modern Warfare 3 zombie leaks, rumors, and things we just want to see. But before we get into it, thank you guys so much for 692 subscribers. means the world. Let's go ahead and smash 700. If you're new here, please hit that sub button. If you didn't hit it today, leave some feedback down below on what I can do to make the channel better for the next time you come. So our first topic of today's video is going to be something crazy, camos. So camos don't seem that crazy, but I do want to see what you guys think down below. Do you think we should have a camo? Ammo grind for the zombies that is coming to Modern Warfare 3. Obviously, in Cold War, it was introduced. We had the base camos, and then, of course, you got your mastery camos. Your three mastery camos were Golden Viper, Plague Diamond, and Dark Ether. So, you basically did it just like you would in multiplayer. You get all your base camos, and then you had to get all your diamond and all your gold. Same thing in Vanguard. We had the exact same thing, just a little bit different on the camo side of things. But I want to know, would you guys love to see a camo grind zombie-wise in the new Modern Warfare 3. Myself personally love to see it because I love these camos. They're very weird, but they're also super interactive and cool. So let me know about the camos below, but let's get into round base. Round base zombies right now is rumored to not show up in Modern Warfare 3. I know this blows your mind because we had this happen with Vanguard. We didn't have round base, but they did add it later with the Shinonuma map. So we can only expect to see maybe a map pack or battle pass that introduces a round based zombie mode. This of course all depends on how Treyarch and Sledgehammer want to go about their zombie mode in the Modern Warfare 3. They could completely just only do DMZ or Outbreak zombies and only give us that content. But hopping over to our next subject, Easter eggs. Easter eggs may be completely gone from Call of Duty Zombies. Yes. I don't know what it's going to be like without Easter eggs because if you go back to Black Ops 3 where we did the all these other Easter eggs and you had these moments with these characters, it was super cool. Now they were very tedious, but they were super cool and well worth it. Do I think these type of campaign and cutscenes will go away from zombies? No. I think now they're going to go into an extinction mode from Ghost where you kind of do missions that they tell you how to do it. It's not an Easter egg. It's not a hidden campaign. It is going to be a campaign that they completely show you how to do while you're playing so guys let's go ahead and get into our next subject kill streaks yes yeah, so kill streaks i want to know what you guys think about kill streaks coming into zombies yes i think it'd be a super cool thing they've done something similar to this call of duty has with extinction mode another reference to them where you kind of had the money or in this case essence you would use that essence to buy ammo drops or bouncing betties a, a gunner a sentry gun stuff like that that you can now use in fighting your you know aliens at that point but in this mode zombies i would love to hear what you guys think about this um kill streak thing do you think we should be able to use our essence to buy mortar strikes uavs um cruise missiles things like that that we just you know we don't see normally in zombies but because this is an outbreak zombies we could see or sentry guns where you set up a sentry gun at a capture point or a exfil site and just absolutely go crazy and you leave with so much essence but yet maybe that sentry gun costs 10,000 essence and it's just one of those things that we'll have to look at more into detail and again this is all kind of in the air on what they could do i personally would love to see it i'd love to you know be able to throw a sentry gun that absolutely goes crazy and as i'm exfilling i'm gaining you know essence or essence to take out and come back into the next match with because it'd be super cool because say you leave real quick with uh unpack a bunch of weapons you go get this weapon you want it and it's not pack a punch yet. You throw a sentry gun down while you're exfilling. You're getting kills. That's getting kills. You're absolutely just blowing up on your essence. You're getting tons of it. You exfil with your essence. You come back with just enough essence to get a pack a punch weapon. Take whatever weapon you want. Pack a punch it. Exfil again. Now you have a pack a punch weapon forever, or at least until you die in the upcoming you know series or game that you play. I personally think this would be awesome. I really want to know what you guys think down below on all the things we talked about. Round base master camos uh kill streaks and just essence and all do you think the essence system is going to work as well as it seems to i hope you guys enjoyed the video remember to smash the like button subscribe if you haven't already make sure you hit that sub button and share if you think the video was worth it i will see you in the next one peace out guys